Hello everyone, welcome back to the Aspen Tech channel. And as you know that these days we are covering the topic of chemical reaction engineering. And in this regard, we are bringing the lecture number three for you. But before starting this lecture, I would like to inform you that we have the official chemical engineering channel where I am working right now as assistant professor and you can subscribe to this channel and get updates of our department. So the link is provided in the description of the chemical engineering department at Comsets University Islamabad Lahore campus. So now coming back to the lecture in today's course coverage we will start again from chapter number one but in the previous part we have studied the rate of reaction, chemical identity, chemical species and various aspects related to the batch reactor and then we have derived the mole balance equation after deriving general mole balance equation. So today we will derive the mole balance equation for the CSTR, PFR and PBR. Now if you see here that in the batch reactor last time that feed was introduced at one point then the mixture was allowed to proceed for a reaction and finally the mixture was taken out. But here the feed is continuous. This is the agitation for well mixing and the product is getting out. So the feed is continuous, the product is continuous in the system. Continuously add reactants and remove products so it's an open system. Then inlet stream is continuously mixes with the bulk of reactor volume. However, due to the agitation in the system that we assume that perfect mixing occurs in the vessel. Temperature and concentration are uniform throughout the space. Composition of the exit stream is same as that of the inside of the reactor. And the conditions are steady state condition means at one particular time if you pick then you will find the same conditions and even if at any time for example at 5 minutes or 10 minutes and 15 minutes you will find the same composition the same conditions in the system unlike that of the batch reactor because of its characteristic batch reactor was unsteady state but specially uniform this reactor is steady state but specially uniform as well. So the difference between the batch and the CSTR is in terms of their time. The batch reactor is unsteady state while the CSTR is steady state. So talking about this characteristic, tank reactor sufficiently well stayed, exit condition is equal to reactor condition at steady state. Typical for liquid phase reactions, then in applications, continuous operation processes with intense agitation, improves reactivity by temperature and concentration and auto refrigeration. Advantages include good temperature control and low operation cost, but the disadvantage is low conversion per unit volume. So now moving to the derivation of the mole balance equation, we know the general mole balance equation for a reactant A that Fa0 which is the initial flow rate of the reactant or the flow rate at the entrance of the reactor minus F of A which is the flow rate of the species A at the exit of the reactor plus integral rate of reaction R of A D of V is equal to dn over dt. This term represents the accumulation generation. Since at steady state there is no accumulation in the system so that term will go to the zero and since we have assumed that it is the well mixed system so that integral and derivative will be cancelled out and that will become as R A of V. So that equation will become as F A naught minus F of A plus R A into V. Now you take R A into V to the opposite side and then divide RA over here. So you will get FA0 minus F of A over minus RA as you can see here is equal to V. So that is the general mole balance equation. Simple mathematics that once you take RA V to this side that will become minus RA into V. Take volume at one side then you have to divide minus RA and minus RA represents the rate of disappearance of reactant which is actually the case if that would have been product that would be rate of formation. But obviously we always define mole balance equation in terms of the reactants. So that is the general mole balance equation for the CSTR. Now moving to the PFR as you can see that distance down the reactor and the concentration. The concentration of the reactants are decreasing in the system while the concentration of the products are increasing in the system as you go along this reactor. The mixing takes place in axial but there is no radial variation in the system. So we call it as a tubular reactor, cylindrical pipe with openings at both ends, steady state again as I have told you but it is specially non-uniform because if you look at this point or we can say it as point number one the concentration or the temperature profile will be different. If you go here the concentration will be different, the temperature will be different over here. So if you look at the profile down this system 
the concentration will not be the same at this point and at this point unlike that of the CSTR or batch reactor. So that is the difference. It is a steady state system but specially non-uniform unlike CSTR. So the applications include continuous operation, large scale production processes, fast reaction. In phases it is typically for gas phase reaction and its characteristic as we have discussed already that no radial variation and concentration varies with length down the reactor. Advantages include high conversion per unit volume, easy maintenance as it does not include any moving part as we have seen in case of CSTR where there was an agitator in the system and in case of the batch reactor. Disadvantages include poor mixing and poor temperature control. There are chances that hot spots can create in the tubular reactor or we can say plug flow reactor. Now moving to the mole balance on the plug flow reactor. Let's assume a certain volume segment in the system. This part is V and this part is V plus delta V. This is the entrance flow rate in this segment and this is the exit flow rate from this segment. So we will say it as in at the point V which is FA at point V minus out at V plus delta V. So that is V plus delta V and we will say it as FA V plus delta V and then generation is RA into delta V is equal to zero. This is the general mole balance and why it is zero because there is no accumulation in the system. It's a steady state system. So once we take limit and rearrange it Finally, we get this equation limit delta x approaches to 0 f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x is equal to df over dx. So similarly, if you see this part of equation x is replaced by v. So accordingly, we will get the equation dfa over dv is equal to ra. This one, this part becomes as if I show you over here that this part becomes as dfa over dv as per this limit principle which we have studied in our intercourses or even calculus subjects as well. So we get dfa over dv is equal to ra and now first we will write the general mole balance equation then we will say dna over dt is equal to zero because it's a steady state system. Finally we get fa naught minus fa plus ra into dv is equal to zero. Accordingly dfa over dv is equal to r of a. So applying because this results in this but the derivation is in the previous slide which I have shown you. So taking volume at one side and integrating this by using the limits at volume V is equal to 0, FA is equal to FA naught which represents the initial flow rate of that species and at final volume V is equal to V1, FA is equal to FA of 1. So what we will do we get V1 is equal to integral FA naught to FA1 DFA over R and we have seen in batch reactor once we get that type of equation that how to derivate it let's simply take DV here RA here and integrate it from lower limit to the upper limit but for, if you remember or if you pause the video here and think what is the next step here you will identify that we have to make RA as negative because it is the rate of disappearance of A so what we can do or how we can do simply multiplying and dividing by negative sign or simply changing the limits over here and applying minus over here. So we will get V1 is equal to integral FA1 to FA0 DFA over minus RA. So that is the mole balance equation for the plug flow reactor. Now if we move to the pack bed reactor, the only difference which we can see over here that volume will be replaced by the weight of catalyst and this RA is actually the units are mole per volume per time. But if you remember our first lecture we have said that when the system involves a catalyst which will be in the case of the packed bed reactor then that will be replaced by the RA steric or its units are mole per gram of catalyst per time. So now once we get this equation and this is the graphical representation that A is decreasing in the system and B is increasing in the system. So now if you look at this pack bed reactor you will see that as it is going along the length of the reactor this is the gravitational moment cylindrical shell vertically oriented again it is specially non-uniform because at this point at point number one the concentration will be different at this point number two the concentration will be different at point number three the concentration will be different but the flow will be the gravitational in the system. Reactants enter at the top and flow through the pack bed of the catalyst. However, it is steady state and specially non-uniform. Characteristic include tubular reactor packed with catalyst. Phases include gas solid catalyst 
heterogeneous applications involved this is the first reactor which we have studied in the heterogeneous system the other systems were homogeneous systems including pfr cstr and batch reactor and again the continuous operation advantages include high conversion per unit mass of catalyst and low operating cost but again the disadvantage is same as that of the pfr that the poor temperature control bypassing and channeling can happen in this system and shutdown and cleaning may be expensive in this system using the same formula but now replacing ra by ra steric and v by the w rest of the calculations will remain the same that steady state it is zero then accordingly fa naught minus f of a plus integral ra steric dw is equal to zero this equation will transform to dfa over dw is equal to ra steric integrating by using the limits at this point when w is equal to 0 f is equal to f a naught which is represents the inlet of the reactor at w is equal to w f a is equal to f of a or you can say f1 so both representation are shown to you w is equal to finally we get f a naught to f a d f a over r a steric and what is the final step obviously you will know it now that you have to simply switch these positions and apply negative over here so that will become w is equal to integral fa to fa naught means the final to the initial flow rate dfa over minus ra steric but remember that ra steric or ra prime is for the packed bed reactor the reactor which includes a catalyst in the system it cannot be used for the volumetry reactor so finally if we go to the summary of the reactor batch reactor first i will discuss it that it is specially uniform but it is unsteady state cstr Specially uniform steady state PFR steady state but specially non uniform PBR steady state but specially non uniform. The mole balance is represented in three forms differential, algebraic, and integral. CSTR equation is only the equation which is represented in terms of the algebraic part, which is V is equal to FA naught minus F of A over minus RA. Rest there are mole balance equation in differential alternatively in the integral form. The batch vector equation is represented in terms of time. The PFR in terms of volume and the PBR in terms of weight of catalyst. So that concludes our chapter number one of the book Elements of Chemical Reaction Engineering by H. Scott Fogler, fifth edition. In the next lecture, we will start the chapter number two. We will start the conversion and we will derive the design equation for these four industrial reactors. I hope that you have enjoyed the chapter number one. Please give your suggestions, your feedback in the comment box and give us your valuable suggestions so we can improve. So that's it from this video. Thank you so much. Please do watch, like, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Also click on the bell icon to get all updates related to this channel. Till then, it's goodbye. Stay tuned for more exciting videos.